We're here this morning talking to Adrian Cook, Managing Director and CEO of Carnarvon Petroleum, on the back of the largest oil discovery in Australia in the past 30 years. Good morning, Adrian. Thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. The recently announced oil discovery at Phoenix South One Well has been described as the largest oil discovery in Australia in the past 30 years. What do you think is the most significant result of this discovery? By far the fact that we've made a significant new oil discovery in a brand new province off the coast of Western Australia. Adrian, the discovery of oil in the offshore Canning Basin was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? We were drilling for gas based upon the evidence that we had at the time and we discovered oil, so we're pretty pleased with the outcome here. When do you expect to know how much of the oil in place is recoverable? We think in about three months, letting the geoscientists do their job. We have all the material we need. Uh, it's just a matter of processing, calculating, and, uh, and seeing what the outcome's gonna be. The quality of the oil at Phoenix South is exceptionally good, isn't it? It's very good. Uh, this will flow like a gas uh, in situ, and then by the time it comes to surface, it will be a light oil, that sells at a premium to uh, oil prices in the marketplace. The discovery of Phoenix has already triggered a couple of very positive corporate activities from your joint venture partners. There are two uh, positive outcomes that have transpired this week. The first is that Apache is committed to the drilling program next year. The second is that they have taken up their option over the surrounding acreage that we held uh, and now will be our operator over some 20,000 square kilometres in addition to your stunning success at Phoenix, Carnarvon's recently acquired 100% interest in the Cerberus project, three permits located in the Carnarvon Basin between the Harriet, Wandu and Stag oil fields. Presumably you will be seeking to farm out these permits and attract major players to help you explore and develop this project. Our Cerberus project we expect will be the exact replica of the success we've had here in Phoenix large acreage holding within an oil province, new ideas, major to come in and drill it. Carnarvon also retains a 20% interest in oil producing assets in Thailand, which are currently producing about 4,000 barrels of oil per day. Presumably, if required, you would be interested in monetizing the value of your investment in this asset. Our objective is to achieve the highest share price for our shareholders. That means a redeployment of capital to a higher yielding asset, then that's exactly what we'll do. The discovery at Phoenix must be an incredibly exciting time for you, and presumably the exploration team. Absolutely, full credit to our team, um, who have stuck with this acreage since 2008, when really the majors uh, were not looking to expand on the Northwest Shelf, to have picked up such a fine asset, uh, applied tremendous technical work, and to generate the value that we've seen over the last week has been incredibly uh, satisfying for myself but particularly for the team over the, such a long period of time. The rock well, which is the next well to be drilled, has been described as being potentially even more prospective than Phoenix South. Well there were two main targets that we farmed out as the process that really attracted Apache. The first was Phoenix South and we know the success this week uh, that, that that has been. The second was the rock structure which is the next main structure along from Phoenix South. From what we can interpret, and it is early days, but this structure looks to have a bigger reservoir and be larger in scale. So it is an exciting development that we look forward to next year. So how will Carnarvon fund its exploration commitments over the coming 12 months? Our primary commitment next year is the drilling of the rock well. And that will be paid for by Apache and JX Nippon from the 2012 Farm Out Agreement. In addition to that, we are well funded already with 50 million of cash in the bank. We have monetizable assets if necessary and further access to capital as a listed company. The next stage is that we'll meet with the joint venture partners and actually work out the program for next year from which the board can then make its decisions around how it will fund those programs going forward. But at this point, we are pretty comfortable. And finally, Adrian, over the coming weeks and months, what are you doing to promote the Carnarvon story? Well, the Carnarvon story has attracted a great deal of interest, as you might imagine, throughout the course of the week. I'm very keen to get out early and update our shareholders, as well as start to talk to those people who have expressed interest. Uh, let then the results come through from the technical work and then get back out on the road to our shareholders, but also to those people who have expressed interest in the company uh, and, and talk about the, the way forward. 
Um, and I think now the significance of this story is that it will appeal to some very large international investors in the business. Adrian, thanks for your time today. It's a pleasure.